What's up, everybody? I'm Nova coming at you with another one. Figure we check in on Neo again, and I guess I guess Neo had uh, some bad earnings. Yeah, trading lower. There was a dump after hours. Blah blah blah. Anyways, um, and uh, I'm just looking at this technique that I've been playing with, uh, the cross of the one six one eight and the the uh 111 and again this is incredible i mean it, it almost called the top exactly right and we were saying 65 and then abandon ship uh now we're we're looking for lower support and um lower support i don't know what happened there just developed an accent um and uh, we're just kind of in this triangle waiting for it to sort itself out. Uh, we said that uh, due to this area here, we're going to see some range compression, uh, possible resistance along there. And, you know, uh, we might be somewhere within uh, this range. If I compress it, the triangle won't look as scary like so, right? So we did have a bounce. It's there's a lot of indecisiveness. A gap down. That's not a good sign. Maybe we'll see a uh, a bounce, a test resistance, and then hopefully not further low. But if you saw my Tesla video and Neo kind of likes to follow Tesla, um, that might spell bad news for the EV uh, environment. And uh, the 50 will likely be our uh, our test ground and our resistance. It's kind of aiming that way. So it could be that, you know, if we do go up, uh, we're going to see some sort of resistance. The death cross of the 50 and the uh, the 100, that's bad. <laughs> but anyway, the long-term holders, you're in for the long haul. It's not going to bother you because you've been in at three bucks or even lower before I got in. Um, and then this is just an opportunity to maybe stack up a little bit more. Now, if you're looking for a second buy, uh, you're going to want to wait for, where is that? The 20 week. That's usually support, right? And, uh, there's resistance there. So, um, I hope we don't hit the 50. Maybe it just... This will just uh, wick down and then come back up and find support, at which point we could probably take a small position and wait for the move to the upside. But remember that we have that resistance line and it's going to be a while for us to break out of this pattern. Uh, and the triangle ends uh, in the summer, around uh, beginning of June. So... Uh, not looking good for Neo still. We still don't show signs of a continuation and a move to the upside. So um, try this technique with the, well, I guess you got to, I think I have the indicator on my site. Let me know on my profile. Um, but like, like most people will try and do, you know, try and do a profit move like that. Do the opposite. Do a 85 to 90% off the 111 and the 350 day average times 1.618. Um, and here we are at 89, almost 90%. And of course, I said conservative uh, 85. Where would 85 put us? 85 well that would have put us in the breakout so then we would readjust and say okay 80 or 90 is roughly the next one uh and we did say 65 so i i was off i'm sorry <laughs> anyway uh we're gonna consolidate now so that's neo and the fact that uh they've got record um car orders uh or something like that look it up but uh, I think there was a bad earnings. 
And uh, well, anyways, look it up. I'm sure it's in the news, uh, but clearly uh, some inside information is saying sell as well. We like it could be that stops were all triggered uh, because people are putting their stops on the 50 uh, and now they're waiting to buy. I don't think the 111. I think they'd be uh, a little bit lower. I'm not sure where. Actually, I forgot to look to see where the 200 is. 200. Let's turn uh, these guys off. 618, 350. And the, yeah, there's the 200 right there. And the 200 is fast approaching uh, a support base. So it could be that we're going to continue down. And we better bounce on the 200 because if we don't bounce on the 200, the bear cycle is officially here and it's going to get ugly. Uh, the bears are going to take over and short the heck out of this thing. So uh, who, who's bullish on this? Kathy Wood and Michael uh, Burry is uh, shorting Kathy. I think uh, this will be war of the hedge funds. Uh, and your job is to just, you know, watch your losses. So uh, profits are being taken. This cop and this handle is really ugly. You you could even argue that this is a cop and then this is a failed handle to a lower point. Uh, so uh, again, watch this area and watch for a breakdown to lower lows. Uh, yeah, here we are on the half day. We're just testing and it looks like we're failing. So the next price level we'd be looking at is around 32. We don't want that to happen. Um, that is Neo. Let's work the thumbnail here, folks. Um, yeah, I think Neo is going to go to sleep for a little while longer. Feel free to send me a message to remind me to have a look at this if you see a change in trend. Uh, I won't be doing as much of this as I've done in the past due to uh, work constraints. All right, trade safe.